You already know who it is. It's your boy. Saf. Today we're gonna be making shit like this. And I'm gonna show you how to do everything. Show you my whole process. So basically, I found the pictures, some pictures of Playboy Cardi. Yeah, oh, oh. So basically, the main part will be the realism of the sample pack. It will be like very, very realistic. And the other part that I'm gonna show you is how to do the like the temperature effect. The one that Skepta did one time. He had an album. His cover art was like this. So it's kind of like temperature. So first of all, I want to make the pictures in the style of temperature. How to add a picture? You go to File and you pl press Place Embedded. The plus Place Link also works, but I don't know really the difference. So you just add the pictures. How to do the effect? You go to Gradient Map and you press this one. If it's doesn't it, it should look something like this if it doesn't press the re reverse yeah it should be like this more whitish so now we press the gradient to change the color we press on this now these are the squares that change the colors so if you want to add the color you just press on it and it adds to it. so we need we need three colors and to change this color so We'll make this purple, we'll make this blue, we'll make this red and this yellow. We'll make this kind of darkish purple. Now we need like a sky blue, but it's a little bit dark. Yeah, this one. Now we need a bright a red, but also a little light. Yeah. You should really experiment and see what the outcome is because there is no right or wrong you just kind of look what works best for you actually as you can see uh, this gradient map if it's on top of the pictures then it works for every picture so you just have to add the pictures so it's really easy So now we have to export the pictures to work them on another project. So how to export the file, you go to file and you go to export. And if you want to change from G, JPG fuck, the, to PNG, you just go to export preference. And there's, you can change, I don't know. Yeah, I know the GIF, but I don't know what SVG. Oh yeah, I want the PNG because PNG is 10 times more uh, of a file weight than the GPG, so it's kind of better picture. But I don't know, the, the, the pictures came from like Pinterest, so they probably from the start are very bad. <laughs> then you hide the top picture and export this one, then you do this. So you get the point. Now we go to another project. Now the idea I had is to make them into a film. Yes. I found this picture on Pinterest and we press Ctrl T to select it and we press shift and we hold it and we rotate it. Because if you don't press shift, it, it goes like this and you don't know which when, when it's perfect. So you just hold shift. And now we're gonna add the pictures inside them. Well, now we have a picture, but how do we put it inside? If you press under it, it just disappears because the picture has the white color in it. You go to a picture and you press multiply. Yeah, so now it's inside. The This part will be like covered. Now, if you hide, the, if we hide the frame and if only picture is this one, the, the new picture that you added will Mag magnetically like click to it so it's easy to make the same size 
so you just can hide everything and you see it's the same size so you can make a bunch of them and then work with them you see the, now the picture overlays it so you should put it behind it and be careful because now multiplied what it does it it deletes the white color in. so this white color is actually transparent so if you put the picture a little bit to the side you see it goes with the color so be careful now t we have a full picture we just need to get rid of this and make it all black and how we do that uh, we go to the top layer and we press here to change the stuff you press with right click and here all the stuff so we go to rectangle now this is the fill color will, which will be inside and this is the outline stroke is the outline if you don't want it just press this one if you want it then it's pretty simple it's a gradient so we just want a black square we just we just hold it this go to layers to move around hold alt and uh, with your mouse you see that is clean now to duplicate the layer you hold alt and drag it you see it's a copy you see now it's all clean and ready to be worked with so now we want to work with it so we just Hold control and select everything and we group it there's a like a folder button and what you want to do so we're gonna convert it to smart object but if we want like oh fuck I fucked up and I want to change it up we have a like a backup plan so we just hold alt and we have group copy but this one will go as a smart object but if we need to make difference they're all here so now we have to name our sample pack or drum kit or just a cover it really comes down to you what you like and what you don't like you know there there's a like a standard way where which we did in like the first video where there is a just a square and the name on top of it or on a side but really it doesn't matter you can do anything you want and maybe even better because it's kind of creative way and it, catch, it catches an eye so we're gonna do right here and we're gonna press 193 that will be like a name of the sample pack and i think the numbers look best in the gothic font so the name of the font is english town if you want to download it it's free you know you can put it anywhere if you want to put it in the middle you press this one and you press ctrl a and these buttons really help like you see now it's in the middle now it's in the complete middle and you press you can press ctrl t and if you hold shift and and press the arrow up left down you you can move it but it's really more for a small difference if you want to like change it up a little so if your picture is somewhere here and you want it like straight in the middle you press ctrl a you see but i want it to be like a different way i want it to be here and sample pack be here the name of this phone it's actually my favorite phone it's monument extended i pretty much use it everywhere and we put it here looks really clean I, actually i think it's done you don't really have to add anything like you can add some text uh, some details here some here maybe uh, uh, your name or if you're doing the art for somebody you can like i don't know dj dick what did he say oh. pause <laughs> pause <laughs> fuck out of here b so now we want to make the text realistic and we're gonna do the uh, the ink bleed effect remember from the uh, one video so we're gonna export it like this we're gonna hide everything except the background and to add background you just press this one and you press solid color yeah it does we export it 
and why do we export it and put it in a new project because uh, the threshold once you use threshold everything else be uh, beneath the threshold turns black and white and I don't really know how to make threshold only to the text so I mean it's not really hard to put it in a new project if it works it works so now we blur it we go to filter blur gallery fill blur So now we go to adjustment and we go to threshold and this is the part where it's up to you how you want it. You see, I really like the, the gap between them, it's like that military font, you know it's even more realistic if it's like totally fucked up. You add the exported text with already effect, you go to file, place embedded but now it's all black so to read to get rid of the black you go to screen and or light and it's really no difference so now we're gonna make work on the text and we're gonna lower the text the opacity of the text so you see once it's 100 opacity it looks i mean we did the effect but it still looks like it's like a computer done but if you lower the opacity you see so now it's time for textures and you see it's a weird color i mean it looks nice but i wanted to if your texture has some color in it you go to hue and saturation and you play around with this thing you see now we can add i think one like pinkish yeah now now it has like a spray can uh, like effect it, it, now it really looks realistic Yeah, so the picture is done. Hope you like. Uh, hope you like this type of video where it's like long and explained. Uh, or let me down in the comments uh, below if you like the the previous videos where it just kind of fast forward and I just talk uh, over it. Yeah. Hope you make great art with this tutorial.